I guess you could say this is the fourth kind of tutorial. It's really me experimenting, and I guess that's what this is about, just showing novices that it's okay to experiment. It's not gonna be perfect. So right now, I've managed on my iPad to hook them all up by using, the. there's a MIDI USB host, and that one is going to, just so you know, the one that's the host is going into the iPad, and the other one is going into here. Um, and then I have the out going into this little speaker, and I'm using this plug to power this, because it didn't power it without it. And then what I've managed to do is have four different synthesizers on the iPad. And right now I'm using the second MIDI channel. So this is how I did it. Okay, I'll show you. So it's um, set. I'm on the second one. Make sure you have that lit. And then I go to channel and it says, t it's supposed to be two. Oh gosh, I hope it works. Okay, so there, this is just playing um, number two, which is this. See, you can see it playing, yay! So that's actually working, and just playing that. Uh, the keyboard is set to a different MIDI channel, but if I wanna play the same sound, I'm gonna shut this off here, and I can play it together, but just so you could hear me. So this is set to channel three, which is a different one of these synths. So I want to play this one. I'm going to set this to two as well. I don't know if you can see that. That's the same synth, see? See how it's moving it? You can see the little thing on this part moving. Okay, so that works. That's super cool. All right, so that's number two. That's this one. And if you see, I'm going to show you how I did it on the iPad. I chose MIDI Cake and AUM Destination. I'm not sure if I needed that, but I did it anyway. And I took off all the channels except for two. I just wanted to have that. And that's why it correlates to this for number two. All right, I know I started in the middle, but that's because it's the one I was on. And then I realized I should probably uh, do a little video. So now I'm gonna mute that one and hope this works. I'm gonna go to the first one. Make sure you choose it. Okay, so I wish it would default to that, but I guess there's no way to do that. So you have to choose it. Okay, now I'm on one, MIDI one out. See, look, one, two, three. Oh, this should be three. And then this should be four. I must have done something where they were all lit. I think that's what I did wrong before. Okay, so they all are on a different MIDI channel. So now I'm going back to this one. I know it looks like this one's not lit, so I always think, oh, it's on, but then it's this one, and I wind up changing something. So that's a little tidbit. Just make sure it's there on this one, one out. So now this one I'm gonna to put to one. And now you're going to hear this synthesizer. See, that's different than what we heard before. And I'm sorry, this is handheld, but it's using this one here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, okay, see, I just want to show you that it is, you know, talking to the iPad. Okay, so right now I'm not using the Cobalt as anything more than a MIDI controller. The sounds from here are not being utilized. Okay, so that's here. Now when I hit play, I should hear this one. But if we don't, it's probably because I did something wrong with the settings. See? Now I hear nothing. This is actually good for you to see. And I go, why? Why is this not playing anything? It's on one and it's on octave three. I don't know why. See, I mean, ah, now it's playing something. So I don't know if that's a glitch. Did you see what happened? I'm gonna hope Chris sees this because it didn't play when I hit play, but then I got like kind of had a jump started. Maybe because I have to choose um, a chord. I bet you that's what it is. That's cool. So that's playing this now. Do, 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 do. And you see, you can hear see the light on here going. This is just this one. Ah, this is so cool. All right, now let's see what happens when we unmute the second one. It should play this one as well. And now I can, this is too loud, right? See, I can lower it. Or I can lower it from here. Um, I think. Now it gives me a little more wiggle room here. So now it's playing both. That's so cool. I'm gonna make this one louder. Um, where's the volume? So 
they're both playing. I'll pick a different note or chord. Okay, so now you can see they're both playing. And I could play it with here. Or I could play this. It's cutting out because this is a small speaker and there's a lot of stuff going to it. Okay, so that's playing. Now, <laughs> now we go to set. Now this is where you have to be really careful. I just want that one, so I'm gonna, that's where sometimes it lights up and then you mess things up because you've then changed a parameter. So now this is muted and this is this one. I believe. I don't know, but we're gonna see. Yeah, see how it's moving? And that's really loud, so I'm going to lower the main volume a little on that. Although I don't really hear it. So when you play it, it's really loud here, but I don't hear it then continuing to be loud. I don't know, it must be a different parameter I have set. There's a lot you could change. It's on drone mode. I don't know if that makes it. There we go. So now I have it on chord. And it'll give this. And you can change that. Again, this is not for, for anything more than demonstration purposes. I just changed the gate. Steps. Okay, so that's pretty loud now, so I can lower this. See? Let's pick something different here.